Welcome back to the Pulse Capsuleers, your source of news from New Eden. I hope you like what we've done with the place. The Guardian's Gala has returned for 2022, and while it remains the duty of Capsuleers to silence these syndicates and their party, this year's event comes with a twist. Following a successful Serpentis and Angel Cartel raid on the Ore Research Facility in 4C TAC B7X, you now have the chance to dive in and steal back the valuable data to help Ore get its development back on track. Activities during this year's gala include new combat and hacking sites all across New Eden. Loot includes skins, boosters, faction modules, and more. There are also VIP gala sites in Wormhole Space and Serpentis Prime with more exclusive rewards and trinkets. In addition, PvP loot drops in Wormhole Space will be vastly increased for the duration of the Guardian's Gala, plus a warp speed bonus to help you get to and away from the action faster. Gala hacking and combat sites can drop pilfered data fragments of the latest ore compression technology. Collect and return these fragments to ore and you'll be rewarded with early access to new compression-related skill books to get a head start on the new tech. On rare occasions during your raids on Wormhole Space VIP sites, you might even chance upon a captured ore scientist. Deliver them safely to one of the four ore stations in the outer ring region of Nullsec for an extremely lucrative reward. During the event, you can log in daily for rewards until the 22nd of February. These include skill points, skins and boosters. These boosters are unique to the Guardian's Gala and will offer powerful bonuses such as an increase to your warp scrambler range or a reduction in remote rep cycle time. To help with your activities during the Gala, check out the EVE store for special bundles. For a limited time, you can grab the Double Boost Bundle, which contains the contents of the Training Boost Bundle, with those of the Starter Training Boost thrown in free. There's also the Heart Surge Pack on sale until the 22nd of February, containing ship skins, Capsuleer clothing, fireworks, and even a Capsuleer Resculpt token. As well as the Heart Surge skins, the Eros Blossom skins have returned. The latter in particular will see a price drop, making adding that splash of colour so much more tempting, so check them out in the New Eden store before the 22nd of February. A new episode of The Scope is coming soon. Watchers Alton Havery will report on the Angel Cartel armed raid on an ore research facility, as well as the hijacking of the Rorqual industrial ship Esperance. Some scenes of the brutal attack may be disturbing, so view at your own discretion. To further celebrate the grand gate crashing of the Guardian's Gala, a special Abyssal Proving Grounds event is now live until the 15th of February. This unique round of proving features 1v1 destroyer combat and a blend of multiple arena effects. Concord have made some welcome updates to the dynamic bounty system. The amount that goes into reserve banks has been increased, with more money being paid out at the minimum bounty risk modifier, now 50%. The remaining 50% of the bounty now goes into ESS banks for the taking. Following up the return of the Alliance tournament last year, the fifth iteration of the Anger Games will start in late May. Anger Games 5 will be a 7v7, 32-team, double elimination PvP tournament, and sign-ups are open now until the 19th of February. This is an amazing way to get involved in EVE tournaments, meet fellow Capsuleers, and advance your PvP skills, so check out the details in the description below. That's all for another episode of The Pulse, thank you for joining us. Remember to check the description below for more information on any of the stories that we've covered, and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified of any new content that we post. See you next time, Capsuleers.